Alright guys, welcome back here to another episode of my Clicky Heroes playthrough. So ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, quite a surprise episode, I guess you're all probably thinking. Since you all probably thought I'd be playing the new Call of Duty game. Well everyone, I do have a story for you for that, uh, but I'll tell you that later on. Let's just get straight into the episode now, shall we? I really do hope that you all do enjoy. Please remember to hit that like button if you did, and of course thank you all very much for watching as always. Uh, it seems our mercenaries, except for one, all came through for us here. Janet is still on her quest, that's fine. Um, let's bury this mercenary, let's collect the 8 relics, excellent stuff. We have 10.72% worth of uh, quick ascension there. Whoa, 6.5 million hero souls worth for a quick ascension bonus there guys, that's actually quite good isn't it? What we're going to do is collect these souls as well, very nice. Who are we going to send out on a quest here? Let's send you out to get some rubies. Hero souls from quests. Which one's pretty much the weaker one here? These two. Common, common. They're both pretty bad. Let's hire a new mercenary then. And you go for the gold, perhaps? Or the relics. Let's go for the relics. Yeah, right. Those are pretty much suicide missions right now, everyone. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Is that a fabled? No, wait, what's that? Yes, it is a fabled relic we got. Excellent. We'll read that later on, though. Uh, Glanus of Rage. That's Berserker and Ancient of Shadows. Interesting. Uh, how much is that to Ancient of Shadows? 3.41. That's 3.15. Let's replace that with that then. Gladys of Rage. Level that up a bit with some Forge Cores. That's done. Next one's Hand Wraps of Battery Life. Don't need that at all. Confusing Magnet of Riches. That's Mimsy. Quite a big boost to Mimsy there. 53 levels to Mimsy actually. But I don't think we need that either right now. The Fabled Grits of Rage. Oh ho so 19 levels to Berserker, Ancient of Rage, 19 levels to Kleptos, 2 levels to Jugger, 1 to Chawado. That's not that good actually. Even though it's a Fabled Relic, it's not really going to help me out too much. It doesn't really increase the uh, Ancients that I need boosted up guys, so we'll just skip that for now. Which is quite disappointing. I was actually really excited for that, but that's alright. Let me just level it up though, maybe I'll get some more Forge Cores out of that. We'll level up these weaker ones as well. More Forge Cores are better obviously. Ronin Shade of Agitation. 30 levels to Chow, yep. Jaga, Libertas, Dora. That's not really that good either for me. Um, I'll level that up though a bit as well. Broadsword of Wallops. That's for the Ancient of Wallops. We don't need that at all. Clay Emblem of Greed. Manum Berserker. Ancient of Wallops. Don't need that really at all. Here we go. Lucky Last. Fury Touch of Rage. Berserker and Aragon. Don't need that at all either. Damn it. So that's quite disappointing. Let's salvage 3,028 Forge Cores that I just got for that. That's pretty good. 11 Rubies all up in total right now, guys. So we're slowly building our way up to get another Auto Clicker, I suspect. Or maybe even a quick Ascension worth. Who knows? Speaking about Auto Clickers, let's chuck on our Auto Clicker on at least the Masked Samurai here. I'm going to get the Masked Samurai to around 2,500, I reckon, in this episode, guys. So we'll see how that goes. There's Atlas there. Not going to worry about Atlas just yet. Because I want to try and get the Mars Samurai to 2500. Mars Samurai does some insane damage, dude. You really got to respect the uh, damage the Mars Samurai can pull out. Because he is the cheapest for damage, I guess. So, pretty much, he's the cheapest, but he'll deliver the most damage early on in the game. Let's see how the clan's going today. Yesterday's raid, collect souls. Good, almost a million souls there. Level 38, damn, quite powerful. Don't know if anyone's going to be able to beat that at all. <laughs> Um, heading on to level 600 now, which is good. What I'll do, everyone, I'll tell you about my little Call of Duty story quickly, then we'll read your guys' comments in the last part. Make sure you leave me comments, by the way, guys. I need to see your comments so I can read them out in all the episodes, okay? Or in the upcoming episodes. So, Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare. I've purchased it, got the Deluxe Edition, over $130 Australian currency, I'm fairly sure that is. Day one release. I installed it, it was like 60 gigabytes. That's a huge download. Hopped on, it is... Legitimately the worst port of a game ever. If you don't know what a port is, it's pretty much say a game's made for console Like an Xbox 360 or an Xbox one or a PS4 PS3 and then they try to import it onto the PC I swear to god this game's a port. It's not like meant for the PC at all. It is so poorly optimized I've never seen anything like it dude. I have no idea. I'm I love COD. Like, I'm a massive Call of Duty fan dude, but I've never seen anything like that in my life. It is so bad. You can't even play online. You play online, the whole game lags, like FPS lag. Not lag on your internet connection, it's actual FPS lag. And my gaming rig's up to date. I know we can run any game pretty much that comes out now. I've never seen it behave like that. 
You go on the Steam reviews, the game's just bombarded with negative reviews. I'm legitimately, I'm so disappointed. I don't know if I'm going to be buying it for the Xbox One since I do have an Xbox One. I might skip it because what's the point now? You know what I mean? The game's released. I don't think anyone wants to see it anymore. Um, but yeah, it's just heartbreaking, dude. Like you wait, I waited all year for that damn game, and it's so bad. I don't know what they were thinking. And the remastered edition's just as bad, which is quite sad. Like for FPS wise, the PC version, the remastered PC version, and the Infinite Warfare PC version are terrible ports, or just terrible in general when it comes to optimization for the PC. They need to fix that now, dude. But for all you console players out there, I bet you're laughing because I guarantee your game's perfect. How rough is that, though, everyone? Seriously. There's no way I was going to post videos where it's just lag. No way in hell. I'm better than that. Seriously. Either way, we're just smashing out the levels here, as always, which is brilliant. Uh, let's check out yesterday's comments now, shall we? So, let's have a look. Bobby Ashton. I ascended on level 160 and got 18 hero souls. Good job, mate. Um, just passed... Level 320, Ascended, and got 258 souls. That's Criticals. Very nice job, Criticals. Jarno, uh, great vid. Great vid, how old are you? I'm 21, mate. And thank you very much for watching, Jarno. George Clark, what is your Steam name? I think it's a bit insane at the moment. Uh, Tommy N. It's been a while. Hello, Tommy. Since I didn't comment on your vids, keep up the good work, dude. By the time you read this, I have already did one last Ascension for 14,000D. Well, how much is that? Transcended for 15 Ancient Souls for a total of 219. Maybe have beaten my highest on ever of 12,889 right now. I'm back for grinding once more. That's an excellent effort, Tommy. Thank you very much for checking out my content again, dude. Great to see you around still. And very good job on your grinding. Have fun grinding back up to where you were, dude. It's going to be the ultimate struggle. Uh, Connor, don't cut the video and play no lyrics in the background music. I have to see how it is still. I'm still on, on the fence about doing that editing stuff. I think cuts are good though, because cuts get out the boring bits, you know what I mean? Um, Dumb of God, you asked how many Agent Souls I'll get for my 15 Hero Souls. Well, it was 21. 21 Agent Souls, dude, that's insane. I think once he uh, ascend, no, transcends though again, it's going to become much harder. Uh, Zach, do you have any tattoos? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want any tattoos right now. <laughs> uh, Kevin... In the last two vids, someone asked how to change guild on mobile. You press boost to change guild. Okay, then there you go. Now, uh, let's have a look here. Kevin Pro 32 in the last two vid... Oh, no, is that what I just read out? Yeah, that was what I read out. Okay, Andy Chen. How do you enter the value thing? You press V on the keyboard when you're in the ancient section. So, he's talking about how do I choose values for ancient. So, once you're in the ancient section, you hold down V on the keyboard and you just click enter value. Then you enter how many souls you want to put in there. Slayization, what does by exact hero quantities mean? It means when the auto clicker is active, whatever your quantity of heroes levels that you're purchasing, that's what the, the auto clicker will stick to. So it will not go over, at the moment mine's 25 levels each time, it will not go over or below that. So that it's perfect for getting the DPS boost each time. Um, it, like leveling up by 25 obviously gives you the DPS boost times four. So yeah, it's great stuff, obviously. Um, Herb the Derp. I always revive mercenaries based on the cost and reward. And only for hero souls as to not waste any rubies. If the Merc isn't going to gain too, uh, that many souls, I let him die. If the Merc is on a quest for at least 25% of a quick ascension, I revive him. Only if the cost is worth it compared to buying a quick ascension. For example, if my Merc is on a quest for 50% of a quick ascension, then I will revive him if he costs 25 rubies or less, half of a quick ascension, or if he's very very close to it. If a merc is on a, a quest for 100%, then I'll revive him only if it costs 50 rubies or less. Ah, uh, I understand what you're doing, that's clever. But, but, what happens if you revive him and he dies again? Is that, it, can that happen, or am I just thinking crazy right now? Because I know how this game is when it comes to that type of stuff, and that's that happens a lot. Crazy stuff like that does happen in this game. Joel Reed, I'm new to this channel and already love your vids. Plus one sub. P.S. I'm from Australia too. Thank you very much, man. Um, David, hi, gameplay vids 24-7. I love the videos. Anyway, me and my dad love this game. We have almost 100 rubies. We don't have the auto-clicker patch. And we're both wondering if we should transcend. 
If you say we should, what ancients should we get and what should we put the ancient souls into? We are around level 400 and our highest is 662. Thanks from David. <coughs> well, thank you very much for watching, guys, by the way. That means a lot. Oh, look at this. Uh, is that Fairy or Fury? I think it's Fury Touch of Riches. Uh, that's 29 levels to Mimsy. Okay. We don't need that at the moment, though, do we? Doubt it. Can I replace this one here? So I'll have this at me. Nah, that's a good one as well. That's a pretty good one, isn't it? I don't know, but I'll... the bonus gold from ch chest would help me out quite a bit. That's the thing, guys. I might actually do it. I might scrap this one, even though there's an Atman boost there. Oh, but Atman's probably the best, isn't it? Atman, Atman, Berserker, Kuma, Atman, Kuma, Salatus. So that's a pretty good build, man. It's a hard one. Alright, what well, we'll do, because if we get chests, then we get a whole bunch more money. So I think I'll leave that like that for now. Okay. Anyway, back to your comment. So, pretty much, David, what you want to do is... Hang on, what, how much should we transcend? You didn't tell me how many ancient souls you had. I guess if you've never transcended before, transcend. Um, and then what you'd want to do is purchase... Let's see here. If you're going hybrid spec, early on, what you'd want to get is Stylatus and Libertes. Then it'll be Solomon, Atman, Kuma, uh, Mammon, Mimsy. Pretty much... Uh, more ghoul airs as well. In reality, hybrid spec, that's what I am. You purchase all the ancients anyway. And what you do is once you have the ancients, so you don't level them up at all, you'd use the calculator in my link uh, of the description. You will see it there, it says calculator, click here, or whatever it says. Then what you do is follow that calculator to the T, pretty much. So yeah, yeah. <coughs> Arigaf, Atman, uh, I'm going to list you like the early on ancients that I like a lot. So pretty much you have Solatus, uh, Libertes, Solomon, Mogules, Mimsy, Mamum, Kuma. Uh, let's keep going. Dora is quite good as well. Dogcog's pretty good as well. Atman and of course Aragav as well. So there you go. Hopefully that helps you out, man. Let me know how many ancient souls you get for transcending, by the way. Super go. I just buried my Leroy Jenkins. Damn, dude. But <laughs> that's terrible luck. <laughs> At least she actually got one. I still haven't got one. Fiery Gaming. I have three hero souls, and if I transcend, I'll get 14. Um, I'm going to try and get 15, or should I just do it? Just do it, man. Or, I, uh, I mean, it all matters how close you are to 15. Fiery Gaming. I did it. I got 15. Okay, so he did transcend for 15. Oh, there you go. So he answered his own question there, pretty much. Uh, Brandon Crooks. You started on level 69. <laughs> This guy only 69, he loves it. Um, Alyssa, you don't need to get all the abilities, as most of them are actually personal upgrades. Um, it won't affect your main hero, and you definitely shouldn't ascend if you're still insta-killing, even if you have a lot of hero souls to be earned from merc quests, because it's a waste of a run. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but... I don't know, man. What's Ace saying here? Ace is replied to Aly Alyssa. I think that's what it is. Yeah, but the money is exponentially gained. It doesn't really matter when you're getting 1.1 E per drop and the upgrade is like 1.1 E80. Alright, 1.1 E100 per drop and the upgrade is 1.1 E80. It's just nicer I'm IMO to see all the upgrades in place. That's correct. I agree 100% with you, Ace. That's the way I think of it as well, pretty much, at this point. Um, what is this? The 6-4? A man once told me broken English is still English, so you go ahead and mess up those words when you feel the desire. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, Carson, great vid. Dude, keep it up. Thank you very much. NRG Power, okay, I've transcended. Please tell me what to put my 17 ancient souls in for hybrid. <coughs> Make sure... Uh, oh, 17 ancient souls. So hang on, he's in trouble because that calculator... Oh, the spreadsheet doesn't have 17, does it? I think it only has like 30-something. Um, what I can recommend to you, Pony Boys are probably where 40% or 50% of your, of your Ancient Souls are going to go into. Uh, definitely uh, Exil there. Chore would be next. Fan. The, all right, I'll go in the order of the most important. Pony Boys, your, your important one for hybrid. Next would be Exil. So one or two levels into him, or even one or, yeah, probably... With 17 Ancient Souls, I'd probably think you'd want to stick to one. Um, 
or two max. Chore, you can put a couple into chore, maybe three. Uh, fan, I guess one or two. Borb, one. You don't even need Borb really that early on to the game. So you can skip Borb if you want and put the rest into Pony Boy, okay? That's what I really recommend for you. Nafal, most clicks per second. What's it saying? My most clicks per second were 274. Ah, very nice. Your average Thomas, thanks for replying to my comment. I, re I revived my mercenary and guess what? He died on the next quest. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's what I was saying early on. See, it, it can happen, dude. You can lose your mercenary, even if you revive him. I'm going to revive him again, though, because I think I'm getting two auto-clickers. It's pointless for my idol build. Yeah, that's true, dude. That's legit true. Don't get them auto-clickers if you have uh, the idol build. Oh! Oh, nah. Technically, because one auto-clicker will set you up pretty much for the whole game, so that's fine. Um, Mary. Really, from Zach27, can you go big on clicker heroes when you... I only play at school. So far, two months passed, and I'm 370. Um, yeah, you can go pretty big. I mean, are you a, an idle spec, or are you active spec? Because active is going to take up a lot of your time. What you'd want to do, since you don't have a lot of time to play the game, is go idle. So yeah, you go ahead and play idle, man, and uh, I'm sure you're going to get further than what you are. You need to make sure you're purchasing the right heroes as well. That's a definite, obviously. If you're not doing enough damage, you're never going to be able to idle offline. Uh, to Tom Bro, oh no, Tom Boom, 27. Hi, bro. Hello, mate. Thanks for watching. So that wraps it up pretty much, I reckon, for this episode, guys. Holy crap, we smashed it out. Good stuff. Um, let's try and get... Oh, hey, on Terra's here. Purchase all Terra's abilities. Let's get Atlas up to a higher level here if we can. 700 Atlas. So the Mara Samurai is pretty much going to carry us now at this point, guys. So that's fine. We just need to save up enough gold. Just taking a while here by the looks of it. Hopefully we get another treasure chest. If we just need another chest, then we'll be fine. Come on, game. Do not screw me over. So close to getting the other chest here. There we go. Still not enough gold. You're joking me. Crap. That's not good. Oh, look at that. 10 times chest and I still didn't have enough gold. Wow. Done. Oh no, maybe I did have enough gold. The auto clicker's been leveling up for me. Got really auto clicker? Okay. Either way. Let's level up Terra some more if we can. Okay, guild of status is into Terra. How much damage is the master am I doing right now? So I can max it or match it here. 75. 75. Atlas. 75 and. Uh oh. Oh, wow. I thought my whole computer crashed then. 75 and 74. So Alice is actually not doing as much damage as the Masked Samurai. Oh, no. There we go. That didn't take too long, did it? Okay. No worries at all. So we just passed 881 there, guys. Very nice indeed. The Masked yeah, Samurai, we've now passed him. We've moved on to Atlas now. I'm going to get Alice to around 1500. Then we'll move on to Terra. Alright everyone, well that wraps up for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, who knows what's going to happen with my channel in the future now now that COD's completely failed for me. So, yeah. Guess we're, we're here with uh, Clicker Heroes. Just can't believe it. Can't believe COD failed so bad. Oh, well, what can you do? Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow for the next part of my Clicker Heroes playthrough, ladies and gentlemen. See you all around.